Hi everyone out there, it's uh, Chris Dobbin here and I'm on the Talking Business Drive Home webinar. And tonight I'm really excited because uh, an old friend of mine has come back to uh, have a conversation with me and talk about unlocking the five branding channels where you can use your headshots. And a lot of you out there uh, have a headshot and a lot of us use it for various things and LinkedIn is something that I, I know and a lot of our Rob members one of the first things they do when they create their profile is a, a headshot is used uh, with their logo and things like that. And so I thought it was useful to have the man that I have on tonight, Costa Latro, uh, to talk us through uh, what he does. And uh, hey, Costa, how are you doing? I'm very well. Yourself, Chris? Yeah, very, very well. And uh, thanks for giving up your time and having a chat with me tonight about uh, this, something that you've uh, fallen into, but you've got a, a, you know, a way that you got there. Um, and of course I have a, uh, a phone going off in the background, but tell us your little story while I hang up on this thing. <laughs> sure, no problem. Uh, thanks guys. Um, yeah, well, I started my journey after high school as an engineer, electronics engineer, and I loved robots and building things and creating things. Uh, and then I uh, quickly moved into working for Telstra and uh, it wasn't much creation. There was more working with other people's documents and I wanted to create something from end to end, go from a dream, a desire to something was actually working, uh, producing money, um, having an impact and a purpose. So I then changed to project management. So that went on for 14 years. And in the process, I accidentally fell into photography because I grabbed a camera, took some photographs, I loved it. So I was like, oh, well, let's just play with this. So I'm self-taught as a photographer. Mm. Uh, I've gone uh, many courses, uh, created my own dark room, black and white photography, We've got uh, medium format. It's just, we all went nuts. Uh, half the time I was either working or, or shooting or learning or growing my skill set. So after 40 years as a project manager and engineer, I thought, okay, I, I quit because uh, it didn't uh, you know, have the same connection or value as the company I was at. And then I thought, what do I do now? Um, I know, I know how to shoot or start a business in the photography. Like, yep. yeah, okay, sure. Start a business. So get a website, a half hour sort of website and a, and, a, and, a, a, and a phone number and then like nothing's working. So from that was a, a journey that started uh, 14, 15 years ago now. Yep. We started with black and white artistic nudes. Uh, that was working um, to some degree, but not really well. Started going to a lot of networking groups as you do when you get into business and there's groups all over the place. And then everyone's asking for uh, headshots and executive portraits and uh, photos of my business. I'm like, everything but uh, artistic nudes. So I thought, okay, <laughs> let's work on what is it going to take to create uh, good looking headshots. So I reverse engineered what I felt was uh, the, um, the standard of the time, which is back in, geez, probably 15 years ago, long time yeah, ago. Yeah. Uh, which is a different look to today, let me tell you, um, 15 years ago. So I re reverse engineered, came up with a male and a female uh, lighting setup. Mm -hmm. And then right, off we go. So then we were doing headshots once a, once a month, as we've got reintroduced now. When you come in, get your headshot done, and it's a one-only product. Then we started doing a lot more branding portraits, building uh, the, um, uh, an iconic look for our clients, so that when they're on uh, websites, on their social media, uh, when they're building their brand, they've got the right images to do so. So we moved heavily into that area. In the same time, we were doing weddings, we were doing family portraits, cats, dogs, commercial work, Yep. all sorts um it was in about 2010 where i decided that's it i've had enough of everything else except the the branding side of it and work with solo entrepreneurs and smes yep. and then cut everything out of the website so we had like weddings family fashion glamour everything else plus the business side cut out all of that and it said no to a lot of business and focused uh, my efforts and my equipment and the, and the and the time and and the and the funds and the marketing just in the business world, working with solo entrepreneurs and SMEs to build their brand. And we've been doing that mm. uh, exclusively ever since uh, 2010. Right. It's a long time ago now, yeah. Yeah, no, it is. And I guess the funny thing about that is the, the boom of social media and online has changed again, effectively, how some of those portraits you took, even though the, I guess the photo is the same, it's how it's used is different. Um, yeah. Like they're still uh, essentially, I'm assuming, which you're going to show us a bit later, um, is some of the styles and how this is applied to different uh, 
mediums and uh, I guess you know when people see that they'll see that you know one photo can be used across many mediums in different ways but keep that brand consistent uh, with the message you're trying to get across so yeah it's gonna be interesting so um, the the highlight of uh, tonight is we're gonna do a bit of a countdown from five to one and we're gonna work through these five branding channels and what yeah. they are and some of them may be obvious but again what you're gonna also expand on here is how those photos are used in each one of those mediums and uh, as you've touched on, is the last 15 years of how you've gone about this. Uh, so it's not going to be, you know, just something that popped up last year. We've got a yeah. fair bit of history to work through here, which is great. Um, so do you want to start off, uh, I guess, with number five? What is at the top of that list? Well, yeah. Of the five branding channels where you can use your photographs, the, the fifth one uh, is the one you can control the least, and that is traditional and digital media. So that is... TV, that is physical print in newspapers and magazines. Uh, and of course the digital side, which obviously has happened uh, in the last 10 years, at least is now the like uh, magazines like Issue, other people's magazines. It's the media that uh, once you provide your images, your videos, your, your content, you're essentially at the mercy of the person who's editing that work and using it in their creation of their magazine yep. or their publication. Mm. So when it's a, a traditional uh, magazine, and that's a really good one still to get into, when you can get into a CEO or a um, uh, install, whatever the magazine is that your clients or your target market is looking at, or at least yep. glancing at, that's the one you know you want to be seen at, uh, or seen in, I should say. And the magazine's going to require not just a headshot, because that's never enough. Yep. Uh, it's always a range of images showing you in action, uh, not just a standard headshot with a white background. Yep. Uh, horizontal uh, or, you know, landscape and portrait because they need the variety for mm. one so they can have multiple photographs in uh, uh, the article and yep. number two they need uh, variety of images so they can choose which ones work and yep. chop them up as they wish so yep. don't expect the image that you provide in all its entirety will be used expect mm. it to hopefully be used and hopefully get as many as you can but they will start chopping it up to make the image fit the text and the overall format this yeah. is else's format. Which so. fits in perfectly with what Nicole was talking about last week in her webinar where she was talking about, you know, once you've got uh, your name and they know who you are and they're trying to use your story, you know, that secondary content that helps fulfill the, you know, who you are, the brand, the personal brand that you are running, whether it be a brand or the company brand and having those photos, if you have them in your back pocket, it sounds like you're pretty much on your road to, you know, getting a successful campaign going. Yeah, I mean, there's, I've had a number of clients who have had photo shoots because they have uh, yep. been accepted into um, their work or the article to submit it into a magazine, yep. but their photographs were no good. And, and right. it wasn't because they weren't at 300 DPI and a CMYK profile. That's one thing when you're shooting to make sure you provide the yep. format that a mag traditional magazine needs, not yep. just what comes out of an iPhone. Yep. They need a specific format and it's more than just high res. Uh, so once that's worked out, you also need variety. I had a client who won an award as a uh, young uh, executive um, yeah. executive PA mm -hmm. and it was in the magazine. So she and three other uh, ladies were in there as well. And you should see the article had little photographs from everyone else. And yeah. my client had the big photographs uh, in the yeah. front, uh, who, you know, the news that's coming and mm. in the actual article, all the images were used uh, with herself in action with her, uh, with her two um, bosses as well, because mm. there was variety. It was the way they wanted it. And they had, uh, it was done shot professionally, not just, I'll just have a couple of happy snaps again against the wall. Right. Uh, the magazine, their, their brand needs to, whatever you're providing needs to boost their brand and not be, a, uh, um, you know, lowering it down, a distraction. Yeah. So right. Anything that's not high resolution, doesn't look good enough for them to put their name to it, it just gets rejected. I mean, I've also had clients whose articles weren't put in the magazine because they didn't have the images to go with them. Right. So okay. what they do, okay, so they, you may, if you're lucky, you may have a, a journalist, photographer come out really quickly. We're coming out this day and time, we're going to take some headshots, some photographs. Yep. You're not ready. You haven't groomed yourself, hair, makeup, all the rest of it. Yeah, no one's coaching you to create mm. great branding photographs. You just, I need some shots for the magazine. Right. But clients who have gone, oh my God, my photographs have been in magazines and I look horrible. I need a new set. This is not, never going to happen again. So prevention always is better than the cure. Yeah. Make sure you're ready before you go out there 
And being ready means that you can approach magazines, a traditional magazine, um, mm. and and uh, you know, and digital ones as well, because you're prepared. If right. you have your checklist, you have your content, you have your headings, you have your landing pages, you have your photographs. All these things are ready. That's what they're looking for. People that are ready, not to help you build your brand, to help them to help you build their brand because it's their magazine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, so that's again uh, something that um, Nicole touched on last week around knowing your medium and media, uh, because if you can touch into what they're looking for and you have what they're looking for, it makes that job easier. So um, just want a quick shout out to the attendees out there that are uh, there. There's Jody, Shay, Phil, and a few others out there. Um, if you have any questions for Costa, feel free to just chuck one at us because we're more than happy to go off script and uh, answer your questions as they pop up. So uh, Costa loves a little bit of randomness. Uh, he uh, <laughs> loves to be put on the spot. So uh, shoot away when they pop into your head uh, and ask a question. Um, so we've done number five. Is mm. that done or are we moving on to number four now? Uh, yes, traditional and digital media. Yeah, look, that's again, that's the one you have the least control. Yep. So make sure you're not presenting one image. You give the variety that you, that best represents you, that helps the brand uh, of the magazine grow as well, mm. and that you're prepared. The thing is, don't get a photo shoot. Oh, um, I've had a magazine on the call. They need photos. When can we get it done by? They need it tomorrow. Mm. I'm like, that's too late. Prevention yeah. is always better than the cure. So make sure you're ready. And another way to have them ready is have them on your website, media, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I talk about. These are my, um, my, my the presentations. These are the photographs. They know by you having it on your website, that you are ready. So yep. when they're looking and doing their homework, they're not going, oh, yeah, nice, nice uh, one headshot in this you know, big uh, website, but are you ready? So mm. you, know, you need to want to be getting the phone call to say, hey, we want you to do this and this, and you're going, yes, 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 I've done it, let's go. Yeah, for sure. No um, there is. And I, we had this conversation last week with um, Nicole around the fact that um, most people think they can't afford this kind of thing or they think it's out of their realm and all that kind of stuff. And we don't need to get into pricing yet because there's a special offer at the end of this. So I'd love people to stick around and see what comes up at the end. But um, just it, 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 it is an affordable process, isn't it? And generally, uh, you, you, as you said earlier, there's a, a number of shots you can take, but you have your key shots and you've got your key price points for that kind of thing. And if people are making an investment into this, uh, as Nicole highlighted last week, the, the reward for that investment is, you know, I'm not going to say it's tenfold, but it, it creates opportunity that you don't have if you don't have them. Is that the best way yeah. to look at it? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, can you imagine if you got one article in at least a half decent uh, magazine that you could say, look, I've been featured in this magazine. So one article, maybe 10, 20 pages into it, but you're in that magazine. That gives you a lot more credibility than someone who doesn't have that. Yeah. Wasn't selected. Of the many other business coaches, sales coaches, et cetera, there's thousands of everything that we do. To be the one selected, even if it's a one-off, let alone if it's ongoing, yep. and to be able to have that as, as, a, as it's a credibility piece, right? You people say, oh, you need a book, you need this, that, and the other. Getting in a magazine, that's huge as well. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. So um, we may come back to traditional and digital because it's gonna sort of filter its way through everything we talk about tonight, but uh, what's, what's number four on that list? Number four is your promotional marketing. This is where you have mm. a bit more control over what you do because uh, you may look at your books, physical printed uh, books. You have um, uh, business cards. Uh, my business card is a fold out and it has my photograph in there as well. Yep. Uh, you've got your uh, pamphlets, flyers, uh, covers of folders, uh, pull up banners. We have small pull up banners, A uh, A3 size that we put up on our expo table. The yep. big ones that you have as well. Yep. This is the stuff you will naturally go to a physical printer to get done. So mm -hmm. this is your own your expo, you're presenting on stage, uh, you're handing out material. This still the tactile stuff, it, you yep. know, that, that still works, right? You still need to get your face in front of everyone, right? Yeah, okay. Um, now, most people say, oh, I don't need that, but uh, you have given us a couple of examples there. I mean, real estate agents are clearly uh, an industry that have their heads on pretty much every card or any, any pro stuff they use. But, you know, in our group uh, in Rob, we have a number of different industries uh, that uh, may not think that they need that headshot. Have you come across those sort of industries where traditionally that isn't the, the case, but once you've taken the shots, all of a sudden they find ways to use it? In these yeah, um, I mean, a lot of the people I work with, a lot of the clients uh, provide a service and they, they yep. don't have um, pills and, and, and products to sell. Like 
Nike are going to show a whole heap of runners and people living the lifestyle of um, the yeah. Nike talks about. Uh, you're not going to see the person who runs Nike, but the yeah. um, the people that find that that find not business owners. If you're a sole entrepreneur, you, you'll be branding yourself. Okay, you're you're the key, the founder of the company. You need to have that brand first because there was Steve Jobs came before Apple, came before the Apple Mac, right? Yeah. Um, so you need to be uh, that, that you have that that founder um, uh, personal brand created. Yeah. The ones that find I find sometimes a bit difficult is. Uh, um, if you're an employee, if you're a senior manager or CEO, and yeah. some of those people think, oh, look, I don't need to have, uh, I just need a photo for LinkedIn. The yeah. thing is, once you get up into the senior uh, levels as well, you want to be headhunted. If you're not gonna stay in the same company for the next 50 years, that's usually unlikely. Yeah. You want to be moving around. Uh, before you move around, you need others to know you, know, like, and trust you. So that comes from building your brand. Even if you're saying, okay, I'm just gonna be on LinkedIn, here's a headshot. Yeah. It's that headshot's gotta be updated. If you're then writing articles, any information piece, any any time you want to show that I have a voice, I have an opinion, I want to be seen, you yeah. cannot be using the same uh, photograph. It's different if it's a logo, the McDonald's logo, the Golden Arches, they've been around yeah. for years. We all know that. But the people are changing, right? That You've got to keep that updated. Mm. So sometimes you find senior managers, though, they may yeah. not want to, but through recruitment agencies, yeah, they get them into our studio and they get a range of headshots and we're, they're good to go. Yes, and Shay, who's listening, is in HR, so she'd know more about this than anyone in this uh, kind of scenario. And I'm sure mm -hmm. it would be useful to have a nice headshot uh, for certain situations in that sort of in industry, um, guaranteeing. Um, okay, so uh, number three, or are we going to... Um... Number three. Yep. Yep, online marketing. So this is where you... Uh, we're going to talk the other the other two are online as well, but this is the online where you can take a bit more control um, over things like your email marketing, right? Not yes. just your, first of all, your emails. You send out an email. We send many out every time. There's an email signature, which you should have at the bottom, just not your name. It'll have some other details, a photograph of you to remind them again, who is this person? Build a brand. I know yes. you have seen you that when you have familiarity, that helps to build loyalty. It helps to build trust. It helps yep. to, to break down any barriers. So at the bottom of your um, uh, email, plus the any special offer you may have, a book that you've written, an e-book, like we have an e-book, so that little banner goes on the bottom, and yep. an e-book has that information. So the e-book you send out, which is your electronic media, yep. uh, that should have um, a cover of, of whatever that book is, even if it's a couple of pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A photograph of you. Yeah. So yeah, the, the checklist that we have goes through many different ones. So you could be on online uh, directories uh, when you're speaking uh, on stage, like I'm going to a, a marketing seminar tomorrow and yeah. that's got a number of different headshots. It's promoted electronically. So yeah. it's on other people's websites. It's still online, but it's not something that you can control uh, that much if it's gone to someone else, but you can control at least the email marketing campaigns you send out, you send out uh, your email signature, eBooks. That's where the, the online marketing works. Right, yeah, and um, I will shout out again to anyone that's listening to this, that at some point at the end, we will um, share some links to the 55 um, things that you've listed there, or you, you have in that bag of tricks that you can mm. look at to where you can use these photos, which should yep. be really helpful for somebody. It's a, it's a free download that you can get um, from uh, this situation. Uh, but uh, yeah, so, um, most people wouldn't think of using their, especially like the businesses we were talking earlier, but I think you've raised a really valid point is if you use this headshot on your email footer, every time someone receives that email from you, there you are smiling back at them. And I guess exactly. next time I see you, I'm going to feel like you're a rock star and I feel familiar with you. <laughs> it's that kind of thing, right? Yeah. 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 It, it's every time you see, um, uh, a logo it's you know your, your branding isn't just like oh, i've got one photo and i've got it in my hard drive it's it's useless people need to see it uh in the right way in the right positions uh in and uh, it needs to add to the value that you're providing whether it's something on social media whether it's an email signature whether it's your business card you know just randomly put it somewhere it needs to work with the rest of the elements as well so it needs to be designed properly and just sure. i see um um photographs on, on business cards. And here's a big business card, you know, well, you're standard 55 by 90. And yeah. there's a little, little square. I'm like, what is that? You just did a copy and paste. There was no thinking. There was mm -hmm. no design. Our headshot, so my headshot on the business card has the background cropped out. So I'm actually floating around. 
and mm -hmm. there's the other you know, purple um, and white background. So it, it's designed as part of the overall look. Which we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll definitely show people this later because I really am re interested what you showed me um, in how these photos are used, which I think is going to yeah. be fantastic when people actually see what we're talking about in, in its action uh, side of things. Um, just on a little sidetrack here, a lot of people would be listening to this going, great, I need the shot, uh, I get all the reasons, but my confidence in me taking a photo. Um, you know, I'm really concerned about what I'm going to look like, what I'm wearing, you know, what people are going to think of me, like all these, you know, um, I guess insecurities people have about having a photo taken. How do you overcome them or two? What do you say to people when they're saying these things to you? Um, so first of all, the photographs of you are of you, but they're not for you. They're for your audience to connect with you. If you, if you want to try to sort of magnetic, magnetic connection, yeah. you need to appeal to others. Stop appealing to yourself. <laughs> it's not for mum and dad to put pretty pictures on the wall. It's yeah. for you to uh, connect with your audience. They go, oh, yeah, that's cool stuff. Nice smile. Nice guy. Yeah, the trust has to be built up. So, yeah. um, and when it comes to, that's when the photograph's going out, their own confidence. Okay. The only thing we require for our clients to do is bring clothes, have fun. We do the planning beforehand. Here's my engineering coming into the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, go, we talk about what do you like? What don't you like? Uh, any, any things that you're concerned about? People are concerned about their, their teeth, uh, their size of their eyes, their, their hair, their hair color, their yeah. weight, their shape, their colors. What do I wear? All this is planned beforehand on the phone. So on the yeah. day you bring the right clothes, I will style you. I will teach you how to pose and I will teach you how to get the right expression. Right. So hence... I'm worried about, well, not worried, it's not a worry, it's, it's, it's a fun part. I, it's my job to make sure that I get the right photographs of you. So as long as you bring your clothes, have, want to have fun, that's it. Yeah, exactly. And um, not to bring too much attention to yourself and myself, but what we're doing right now is a good example of me having no idea what I'm doing with the, the grads of lighting. And I've got this thing up here on the side. I've got my uh, little glow thing going on and you've got a perfect white background. I can see your teeth clearly smiling away, having a good time. I can see your eyes. So um, I'm here to just, you know, show how awesome you are at what you do. And I am, um, I'm not so much. And I'm going to learn a lot from this as we go through this. So <laughs> I'm learning as we go. Um, so, yeah, so look, I, I, I came across that because a lot of social media clients I work with, um, I find that that's one of the biggest problems I have is that they go, here's a shot of me. And it is a happy snap they took at their daughter's birthday, you know, and it's just not appropriate for what we're trying to do. Um, where the clients that I work with that have taken the time and effort to go through what you're talking about, generally they're the ones more successful in business. They're generally the ones that have attracted that audience thereafter and they've got that credibility. So it's becoming an easier and easier job for them to sell. And when I'm doing social media marketing for them, it just again has that another level of credibility that comes with it. And um, yeah, yeah that, again, that's why I brought you on tonight because I really want to understand the, the walls people put up to actually um, not do this and hopefully by the end of this session with you they're going to understand that those walls shouldn't be there because it's doing a lot of brand damage and potential business opportunity for them because they haven't done it so yeah yeah i mean the the if the fact that you're invisible when you're not out there that's yeah. a big problem mm. because as soon as you're not presenting yourself your competitors are yeah right? and if you may look at your competitors and go what the, that's rubbish that's crap i can do so much better Mm. no one's listening to you while you're complaining in the office and they're out there promoting themselves yeah. even though they may not look so good or be as good as you or whatever they're out there you're not yeah that's yeah. that's usually the biggest thing like right? um and a lot of entrepreneurs tend to be introverts yeah yeah so we we'll focus on um, you know uh, well, i don't want to be too loud don't want to be too proud i don't want to be out there too much i do really good work and the focus is on the thing they do as opposed to the solution they, uh, they have for the clients, the problems they actually solve. So if you're really, you're in business to help other people, well, help them. So, but they need to know you. So mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about I mean, photographs are a lot easier than it. Let's say if you're um, on video, um, yep. you can, that's continuous. Um, a photograph, you can get the, what, the one image out of the, you know, the, the half an hour or the two hours, whatever we're going to be doing multiple images yep. and you use those images again and again. So yeah, you need to make sure that um, you're putting your, business forward and how do I help my clients? Cause that's why I'm running my business yep. and sort of to get over yourself. Yeah. You know, once you have fun, we get the images, we have our giraffe in your tiger process. So, and everyone laughs and has a good time. Yep. Although I'm not a comedian, but again, I engineer 
the fun and engineer good results. So that's yeah. what the client does. Fantastic. All right. So uh, let's move on to number two. What's number two on this list? All right. Number two, everyone's favorite, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, social media, right? Right. Okay. So yeah. You have access to a number of different areas where you can on a social media platform, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, put uh, different banners uh, for events, banners for the actual site itself, uh, yep. different tabs you've got. There's many different places you could use it. And like, for example, our, um, our group, Branding for Entrepreneurs, every day there's a theme. So every day there is another reminder of what that theme is, not just in yep. the up the top. There's a post that goes out again, every single day they see my face, what the theme is about, colors and logos in, and brand into your style as well. Yep. There's lots of places. The, the uh, checklist is many that you can use. Them. And it's not just uh, the timeline. E emails, um, for, sorry, for LinkedIn, you create an article. Where's the photograph? Where are you? Uh, I'm a speaker. Where are you speaking? Show me that you are speaking in front of many people and you're positioned as an influencer. Uh, you're, you've uh, launched a book. Show me pictures of you with people holding the book, you with the book, the book itself. Yep. All these stock images you need of yourself not to go onto a stock library and, oh, let's get all the pretty people. They're not. What, what about, um, what about service-based businesses though? Even more important. Right. Yep. Service is you. It's your knowledge, your experience. I'm not leaving you like I have an Apple Mac in front of me. That's when I go to an Apple store. I want an Apple good service. But the thing is I'm going to walk away with the product and I want this product to be good and last and work easy, etc. If you uh, would do a coaching session, uh, you do, you work with a business coach, they'll talk to you, they'll advise you. It's up to you to do what you got to do. But they're so not leaving you with stuff. They're leaving you with yeah. an experience and you've got to sell that service. That's where you're really important to build your brand. For sure, yeah. Now, so um, I, I know Jody's on this call and she sells products. So in her case, product shots with her, with the products, the outcomes of the products, um, mm -hmm. all those kind of things could be yeah. quite useful. Yeah. Um, and Shay, who's there, I can see, um, she's in a service-based business, but I'm, she works with people. So I guess shots with her, like you said, working with people, um, in the outdoors, having a meeting, um, you know, whatever useful tips she can use to, um, to actually show this, the service she's doing yeah. is actually working with the, um, the people that are, that she's working with, I guess, like illustrating it. Um, is that the kind of stuff you're talking about or? Yeah. You also think about not just the, like, you know, for, now, for example, you have my, a lovely headshot, got a nice shirt, beautiful smile, yeah. right? a little bit of uh, Photoshop, take off a few wrinkles, but not too many. Right? That's, <laughs> that's a headshot, right? And then, yeah. then there's more, more photographs of me uh, in action, with hands going, more branding portraits. It could be on location, behind yeah. the scene shots or, or what I call uh, man at work kind of shots. Yeah. It used to be called years ago. It's yeah. you in action doing things. So I've had my assistant photograph me whilst, I've been on photo shoots, working with clients. You know, we've got us uh, teaching him how to pose with the camera, pointing at the, um, uh, the laptop while we're going through photographs. And these are all live. They're not um, staged. Yeah, if they're yep. staged, they can look a little bit too overly posed. So mm. because it's live, you've got to be very quick and be able to capture it as, as it goes with the other lighting and everything else around you. But it makes it look like uh, it shows people what you do. Everyone loves to see behind the scenes. How is this created? As opposed to the you know all the time the polished um, uh, you know finished product. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. Um, okay. So like with the headshots again with social media like uh, like you mentioned it's not just about that square image that sits in the corner. Um, right. it, it's it's things that you use. Um, and the examples I think you're going to show later is that one shot being superimposed over different backgrounds, colors, scenarios, um, you know, product placement, whatever the case be. Mm -hmm. um, so there's various ways that this one shot can be repurposed. Um, in saying that though, is it one shot or are we talking multiple shots to get the same message across? Like what's the usual process? Look, the, as the minimum people, if you're on LinkedIn, you need a great headshot, end of story. However, if you're on LinkedIn and you're providing service, you need to provide more that more of you, and that comes from more than one photograph. And it's mm. not like, well, I have a color version and a black and white version of the same photo. No, that doesn't count. What counts is that you're wearing different outfits, different expressions. Like mm. this photograph here is on the right hand side, and I'm facing into the content. If this was yep. positioned on the other side, that I'd be facing away from the content. 
So yep. the frame, my eyes would come to me and then go off to the right. Okay, where it is now, it's, it's perfectly positioned for a photograph that's facing me, facing into the content. So you've got to think yep. of, okay, a headshot, or social media it has to be facing this way. If you're not front on, into the center of the content. Yep. Um, and then you've got to be thinking, are we talking for or against, whether your messages are. So different uh, photographs, because if you use the one and it's only a headshot, and by the way, just make sure you get your headshots where the shoulder is included, like, this one is a square, so it's cropped in. The yep. actual image includes the shoulder. So you, otherwise, if you cut off the shoulder here, you are forced to put that image up against the edge of the whatever graphic you're going to create. When you've yep. got the edge or edge like it is now coming down here, then I can position one way or the other. So you've got a lot more flexibility. Yeah. Yep. Well, these little factors are very important. So when you're using it, our output is someone else's input. It gives much more, uh, a much greater flexibility than going, yep, tight, head and shoulders, crop, that's it. Yeah, no, and again, I've, um, I've done many a promotion for clients where they've had that cropped in shot you're talking about. And then when I try to put it onto the website and put that bit of copy that sits to the left or the right of them, and there's no room for that. So then I have to use visual tricks to put in a colour or something in that side and fade it into the background so that we can actually do it. Where if you've planned ahead to take that shot because you know it's going to be for like a promotional activity, mm -hmm. you you move to the left, you move to the right, you, you put your shoulders in, you put shoulders out, you know, that kind of stuff. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So when we do, like if it's a one headshot, it's always gonna be facing this way. Oh, but my head, my face is better the other way. You need, your people need to see the content and be framed by the image, whether whatever screen is, and you need to be facing into the content, not looking away because the eye, your eyes will go to the eyes of the person and the whatever, whatever direction they're going into. So I'm yeah. facing into the content. So we always do it this way. We always do it the other way as well. So you have variety, different clothes, yeah. how much of your body's in there as well, and it's, that's if yeah. you're just in the studio on location. Well, there's a lot more to, to work with as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, I'm very aware of time, and I'm not sure whether you want to go into number one or you want to show me the examples, but I think we should do number one. I think that's what we should do, and then give it all away, and then people can absorb that wonderful information of 54321. Uh, show you the examples and I guess we'll, um, we'll go into recapping everything we talked about in this uh, conversation today. Is that, that fine? So uh, number one, what, what are we using this photo right. for? Number one is your company website. Right. Your website, your company website and all of your landing pages. This is where you have the most amount of control. What is positioned when, how often you update it, when you change it, which images, uh, the size, and again, as a contrast, a 300 uh, DPI uh, CMYK file, which would be in the many uh, high megabytes or even gigabytes of image, so a file size for a print magazine is very different to what goes on social media, which is the smallest, which is different to what goes on the website as well. So this yeah. is where you need to be thinking about your landing page. So if you go to the website, so you've got your, what goes up the top? The first thing they see there needs to be you, what you provide, what service, yep. what's the outcome? Uh, you've got your team page, you've got your about us page, you've got your blog page, you're writing yeah. articles. You can talk about, it's like, okay, social media examiner, awesome. They can have the little um, cartoon sort of um, clips. They're not a person speaking, there's a there's person writing it, but they're offering you a solution, five ways to do this, seven ways to do X, Y, Z. You're yeah. writing an article as a service provider, they need to see you. Yeah. Your article, your logo, your colors, your photo, everything needs to blend in. It's like a, um, like a recipe. When you've got all the right ingredients together, it's beautiful. When you mix and match and leave things out, you get a different taste all the time. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You get to a restaurant, get the same food all the time, must taste the same. Okay? Yeah. So you want to give the same flavor, the same feel. It's all right yeah. if you change over time, but you're changing the formula. You know, just making some tweaks to it. For sure, yeah. No, so uh, the website thing became obvious to me when I said that out loud, but I think what was not so obvious is landing pages. So what you're really talking about there is when someone's created an offer and they want to take them to that page, having you there. Uh, now, I can see personal brands. That's perfect and things like that. Uh, again, service-based situations. Um, if you're buying from the real estate agent, this is, again, something I can see that is useful. Uh, we have, you know, um, the Jodies and the Shays and a few others on this call today. Like, what... Um, what are, what, are, what are they sort of looking for in these shots for these landing pages? Is it, again, something to it or? Yeah, so they're looking at, uh, are they, first of all, what's the message we're trying to send on each of the pages? Yep. If it's about us, let's talk more about us. Let's show more about us and uh, what we're behind the scenes, uh, what we get up to, 
the more the lighter side. On the home page, it has to be ultra professional. Uh, yeah. So the first image they get is, okay, this is really good. Um, if it's a meet, meet your team page, whether it's individual photographs or whether it's you know, uh, black and white, normally we just go black and white so we can just change it up a little bit. Uh, yep. They need to see you actually working um, with people. You're speaking on stage, you've written a book, you've got eBooks. So they need to see different photographs of you doing different things. Mm. Yeah, it's like you go to a restaurant, what have you got? One item, boiled chicken. That's it. That's not good enough. People are walking mm. out the door. They want different types of, if you go to KFC, for example, there's different types of uh, items with chicken. Mm. But they're all with chicken, which is you. Yeah. Okay. And so what are the different, you got KFC, you got the, um, you got the wraps, you got the, the nut. I have, I don't go KFC. So yeah. Oh, you say I can tell where they actually are. <laughs> Nuggets, you got um, wings, uh, you got buckets of stuff, right? Yep. But chicken's the main ingredient, yep. right? So you're the main ingredient. You have to be there, but presented in different ways and different flavors because not everyone's going to consume your material mm -hmm. in the same way. Yeah, and, right. you can feel. And, and do you mean like changing outfits? Uh, yep. yep. The way yep. you present yourself okay cool yeah like you don't run around with a one shirt and one pair of pants you know uh, unless you, that is the you know, mcdonald's or someone has a, a specific outfit you've got a uniform well yes that's what yeah, that's uniform so yep. even though you're in the uniform what are you doing you're working with people you're talking you're serving uh we did chiropractors we did um uh you know medical surgeons they've got it so they have a, a logo and all the rest of it looks pretty similar yeah they've got to build their brand and what are you outside of the the t-shirt the logo yeah, for sure. Great. All right. So we'll just recap there. The five were uh, traditional media. That's the most media, Online marketing, um, social media. And then the final one was company website slash landing pages that you send people to. So that's the five branding yeah, channels, right? With the commercial now, thinking is number four there. You missed yeah, one spot. Uh, prom promotional. Okay, cool. Okay. So now that we've t done that, I guess, for those that are watching, um, most people may get this, but I, I think it's useful for you to maybe take us through some of these examples. And we, being mindful, we do only have about five to seven minutes to go through this and also uh, let people know about this amazing offer that you're gonna to present to them tonight. So um, I will let you take over the screen if you can. Okay, so uh, you want me to take over? Very good. Yep, go for it. And, like uh, taking, taking over is good. <laughs> All right, so let me uh, minimize my screen and uh, be able to get you here and share the screen once. Um, okay. Oh, I was looking at you and you looked really good and now uh, I can't see myself. No, I'm not sure if I can share the screen from here. In fact, you've disappeared. So I've stopped sharing and you should be able to take over. Uh, if I do that, oh, there you are. There you go. Share the screen. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Love technology. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, good. So now you can see my screen with all yep. the technology open. Okay. And I'll get myself out of the way here. Um, okay, so where do you start? Many, many ways you can start. Okay, let's go to email signatures. So let's go to this one here. I'm on Canva, by the way. Awesome tool if okay. you want to create your own um, content for social media. Again, any tool as powerful and as amazing it can be you need to know how to use it you need to have a good eye if you're going to design if in doubt get a designer it's as simple as that right um so here oh that doesn't show that much um so for example we use the the book that we have the ebook mm. okay so here's the ebook right this is one that's uh simile design so here's the cover yeah. of the ebook right which is a separate image of itself there's me there's my clients but again, you're creating different, uh, different pages here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to one where I've used uh, myself. There you go. Uh, we go to all of our designs, and you can see I've got lots of designs. Nothing's left. Um, um, yeah, you, you do a lot in here. So what I'm hoping people are picking up here is this: there's one or two key images being used across all these different mediums. Yep. So here's an ebook. You got the ebook. Uh, or information packs. It's another one. Every time you send information, an information pack about uh, the products and services, what's the image you're using? So this image was not created with these purple these circles and all the rest of that lovely background. It was created against, uh, it was a white background. Okay. So there's the blue jacket. Oh, there's, there's me with the, the red, mm -hmm. red jacket. Oh, now I'm folding my arms. 
you know, so you've got variety, right? Folding arms now, being able to, uh, you know, look at the difference between this one. This one has my pants in here. It's the exact, exact same shot I've zoomed in. Why? Because it's a high resolution image and I'm using yep. it for this work. There's the same headshot that I've got. Um, on for our today, yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? Uh, and I've got many more. So let's go back to other folders. Uh, we can show you where I've used, um, okay, lots of designs. Okay, so here's the, the theme. This is, oh, do you want that? <laughs> I need to go to a different design. Uh, let's go back to home. So I'm yeah. gonna show you the headshot, for example. You can use the headshot in many different ways as well. So let's go to, uh, oh, here we go, the BFB group. Oops, not that one. We'll scroll up. Okay, so no, not training photos. You go back to where you were, all your designs, yeah, there, and then there just we go. It, yep. All right, okay, so we go to um, the cover of the Facebook group. Yeah. Um, so many different elements, and they all need to be sized correctly. That's the other thing you've got to be concerned about. So let's close that. So you've got all the words, takes a bit to, to load. Uh, there's the one headshot in um, in black and white. Then you've got the color version as well. Um, just going to go back up here. All right, different images. There's the color version. Now you can see again. Obviously, this other stuff wasn't in the photograph. Photograph against the white. Now, photograph against the white cropped out because you yep. need to make sure the photographs are not just with the background that you've got. It's cropped out as well, which gives you the ability to grab this photograph. Look, I can move it around, right? Yep. Okay, so that's one thing we talked about. Actually, let's just replace it. See the shoulders? They have to mm -hmm. be in the image. If they were cropped here, if it was cropped to here, I have to use it yep. uh, there. And the other thing is the, um, um, see where I'm facing? Um, my shoulders are facing this way. My head's facing towards the camera, but the shoulder's facing into the center, not the yep. other way around, right? So you need to make sure that the images, you're not always gonna be putting them on the left. Sometimes they'll be on the right. So you need to make sure you use the right ones where they match the overall yep. design. Um, yeah, so there's a few considerations. But see, because uh, you know, when we do a, a workshop as well, I'll give lots of examples of how clients have used the photographs. And you, know, you position yourself one third on over here and the other two thirds on the other side of the, the image to create the text or the other way around. But you've got to use the right images that work. Yeah. Everything is like a recipe. Everything has to work. Too much salt, too salty. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you the last one here, which has the um, the headshots, which was down here. Not that one. Um, that could be this promotional one. There's many different ones we do. Okay, so yeah, this is another one. Oh, that's the that's the banner of the yeah exactly. Uh, yeah. And there's me again. <laughs> so yeah. there's a crop version and another crop version. Yeah. Right? There's, there's, there's so much variety you can get when it's not just a, a, a color. High res color, that's not enough. High res, low res, color, black and white. Our icon image, our icon image sort of look as well. Crop it out as well. You want variety and versatility rather than saying, I'm stuck with one thing. Yeah, fantastic. All right, so look, we're going to have to wrap up. Unfortunately, I was really getting excited about some of the things you're showing there, but I think people have got a good idea of what we talked about and then seeing how it's been put into implementation. Yep. Um, now, yep. You have an amazing offer for anyone that's listening tonight. So do you want to maybe talk me through that? And uh, uh, if you've got the links there, put them into the chat and the uh, people that are there tonight can actually um, grab that. Sure. Did you want me to go straight onto that page? Uh, yep. Go into that page. And as uh, soon as you're sharing your screen, we can go there. Uh, just jump onto the page. So on our page here, uh, on the Icon Images page, there we go here. Ah, oh, LinkedIn fair shots, that's what I wanted. Yeah. So um, to get everyone started, you need at least one great, great headshot. You're heading into 2020, you realize it's the start of a new decade, wow. Um, mm. And you need to at least have a fresh new one. If you haven't got one recently, let's make sure we have that happening. Uh, here's some examples of uh, ones we've done. And with the, you design it, we do a 30 minute photo shoot in the studio where you bring your clothes, we have fun. 
and we create the image. So you see the images as we go along. It's, there's mm -hmm. no surprise at the end. I hate surprises. Yep. Unless there's something like, here's a Maserati, free for you. Thank you. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. I want to make sure that you are happy and you love the photograph before you leave. Then when you get the photograph, you're not only getting color in black and white, but the offer we have here is the extension to this pack. I'll just go down to the bottom here, uh, which is not just the, the photograph in the different sizes, in the different formats, but you get, uh, which is for 195, you get this part here, the headshot extension pack. Now, with the extension pack, which is another 55, you get the image cropped out in all the different colors and all the different formats. So you're mm -hmm. ready for social media, your website, online marketing, uh, your traditional and digital media, you know, um, all the five areas that we covered. And with the versatility that you need, that if you're at least gonna have that one headshot, you're gonna to be able to use it yeah. on Canva in a variety of different ways and you're not going to be stuck with a you know, tightly cropped headshot that doesn't really work for more than just LinkedIn or a little photograph that uh, you know you put on uh, a social media. Right. Yeah. Now um, this is something that not everyone can get access to, so um, I guess I'll, I'll share the link somewhere um, when we have the time and uh, people will be able to get this. But um, uh, that was one of the offers. Was there another one there? Um, uh, it was this one here for actually getting you started and getting uh, the headshot. Yeah. Uh, the other one was the, um, here we go, the branding checklist. Yep. So you've and got the checklist. access to even some information about, you know, why image is important, what Google has said, what, what the current research is saying. But importantly, getting the, the list of five, 55 different places where you can use the photographs to boost your image. Now, even if you just start using what you have on those, Yes, there's more content to create. Well, if you're gonna get out there, you need to you know, create more information. Uh, you gotta feed the people with uh, your great stuff. So yes, get them together, create some out there, work with uh, Chris, get your social media working, but you need content, right? Web, one thing I see web designers, they, they loathe is, why, why is the project not uh, completed? The client hasn't given me enough content. No photos, no videos, the words are wrong. It's not the structure of the website that's ultra hard. It's, and if you see an Apple website, all the images look beautiful. Text, photo, text, photo. The structure is pretty basic. It's simple. We can all do that. But without the imagery, we're not selling a damn thing. So you've got to build your brand and let people allow the process of the journey of going, knowing you, liking you, and trusting you, and then they'll buy from you. Yeah. So to all attendees, I've just put the links in the chat there for you if you're uh, wanting to go have a look at those links you're seeing on the screen. Um, uh, now, there was an offer that you were presenting to people as well, if they use a special code? Yes, uh, so, okay, as you can see, this is the landing page, because there's nothing up top. Yep. Uh, I'll go back one. Uh, it is the, the LinkedIn uh, headshot. So it wasn't just the, the 195 for the um, color and uh, black and white photograph ready for social media, it's the extension pack. So that's the yep. one that gives you the cropped image yep. and all the different sizes as well, yeah. Fantastic, great, okay, and that code was? <laughs> Oh, sorry, the code, yes. So the code, which will be available uh, 30 minutes after this call, is uh, Rob, R-O-B, V-I-P. Rob, V-I-P. Rob, V-I-P. Okay. So anyone that's listening to this at any point uh, will be able to log in half an hour after this, uh, this release, which won't be tonight. It'll be tomorrow sometime. Um, but for those that are on the thing, uh, knowing that in the next half hour, you'll be able to jump on and go, Rob, V-I-P, and you'll be able to apply for that LinkedIn headshot um, for your social media uh, and get the $55 extension pack with that inclusive of that price, which is a, a fantastic offer. And I really do appreciate that uh, from your cost of this evening. And we're running a little bit over time. So uh, we started perfectly on time and we've gone a little bit over. So I appreciate everyone hanging around with us to the end. Um, Costa, thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to talking and seeing more of you around in 2020 and uh, through other things we do over the next period. Uh, but thanks again for your time tonight. Pleasure. Thank you, mate. Take care. No problem. Take care of yourself. And uh, I will jump back and I'll take over the machine from you um, so that I've got the screen. There you go. And there we go. And I will stop sharing. And thank you to everyone for being here this evening. All right. Thanks, Chris.